Hello, this is Emma of Emma Live Yoga and welcome to our Stranger Yoga 30 Day Challenge. We are now on day eight and day eight we are going to focus on Pavrita Trikonasana, aka the Twisted Triangle. So come to a base of your choosing, might be seated on all fours, high kneeling or standing. We'll begin as always with the opening chant. Take a few moments to feel grounded, connect with the breath. Remember the Ujjayi breath, the bandhas. We have Drishti. Take a breath in. Oh. Bande Guru Nam Char Nara Binde Sundash Satsva Safara Bode Neshte Se Jankai Kai Mani Samsala Hala Hala Muha Shanti Abahu Purushikara Shanka Chakrasi Tarina Sahasra Shvarasam Shveta Pranamani Patanjalim Om. We're coming to Samastiti for Sri Namaskar A. Remember your choices. A Pam inhale, scoop the arms up. Dve, exhale, fold forward. Trini, inhale, lift the chest, hands down the floor, knees can be bent. Chaturvare, exhale, Chaturanga, remember your knees can be down. Pancha, inhale, back bend of choice. Sha, exhale, push back to down the dog. One, you might begin to lift and lower the heels. Two, Let's take this first sun salute to assess the situation, see what's going on. Three, firming the muscles of the legs, establish the drishti. Four, nice strong breathing. And five, up onto the toes, look forward. Inhale, come through, step, jog or jump. Sukta, exhale to fold, asha. Nava, inhale, rise all the way up, and exhale, Samasti TV. We'll do one more. A come, inhale, nice and easy. Dve, exhale, fold forwards. Trini, inhale, lift the heart space. Chakvare, exhale, Chaturanga. Pancha, inhale, back bend of choice. Shad, Exhale, down the dog or child pose. One, settle into the breath. Two, if you're kneeling, just let the head dangle. Three, if you're seated, have the hands forward, let the head dangle. Four, and five. Look forward. Supta, inhale, to step, jog or jump. Ashta, exhale, fold forward. Nava, inhale, all the way up. And exhale, Samasthiti here. So we have Suri Namaskar B, same option, seated, kneeling or standing. Take a breath, <laughs> prepare yourself. Inhale, sit back, so we have Utkatasana. Exhale to fold, head dangle, same as before. Inhale to lift, just the chest, not the hands. Exhale, legs back and lowering. Inhale to lift, see how your back feels. You might keep the knees down. Exhale to dog. So then we have the right leg forward. Inhale, right leg, palms touch. So now you can do this with the knees down. Exhale all the way down, nice and easy. Inhale to lift, back bend of choice. Exhale to dog, left leg, you're ready. Inhale, left leg, palms touch. Make sure that back heel stays grounded, hips are square. Exhale, all the way down. Knees down is always an option. Inhale to lift, roll the shoulders back. Exhale to dog or child. One. So see where you can relax. 
two. Remember you can bring this down to seated. Three. If you're doing this from seated, you'll just use the arms. You won't do the step forwards. Four. Remember you can always go back to days one and two to check the technique. And five. Look forward. Inhale, come through. Exhale to fall. Inhale, sit back, palms together and lift. Exhale, Samasthi Sihi. Okay, so we're coming to Pavrita Trikonasana. We'll just go through the motions of Trikonasana. So inhale, step out to the right side. If you were seated, come up to standing now. Remember the feet turn in the same direction and then we can lean, exhale. So you can just briefly revisit the triangle. Inhale, come up, change the feet. Do your lean, exhale. So then we go to the twist triangle. So inhale, come up, exhale. Turn the feet same as before. This time, bring the right hand to the sacrum. This acts kind of like a spirit level. I'll turn around so I can see you better. Keeping the hips and the sacrum level. So spread out the fingers. Inhale, lift the left arm up. Make sure you haven't locked the knees. Exhale, begin to lean forward initially. So then from here, you might bring the left hand to rest above the knee and then use that spirit level hand to pivot yourself around to the right side. That's an option. Find your breath. Another option is to slide the hand below the knee. So come a little bit lower down. Continue to draw the right hip back and keep pivoting to the right side. Now, if you feel wobbly, I'd like you to step your left foot further out to the left. So just broaden your stance. Good. Lead through the crown of the head and reach back through the sitting bones. Another option is to lift the arm up, the right arm up. Now allow the arm to be where the shoulder is. So that might mean your arm is forward. Do not force the shoulder back. Another option is to bring the right hand, uh, the left hand to the outside of the right foot and then roll the shoulders open, scissor in the inner thighs together and then lifting up from there. We'll call that three. <laughs> So I'm coming a bit higher up. You do what you need to do. Four. And five. Look down. Inhale, lift up. So press through the front, front heel and windmill the arms as we change direction. Windmill effect. Windmill effect. That's it. And square the hips forward. Bring the left hand to the sacrum this time. Right hand is up. Make sure you've got real length through the spine and don't lock the knees. Inhale, lift the heart forward. Exhale, bringing the hands to wherever feels best, above the knee, shin, ankle, floor. See what feels best. Inhale, lift the chest, sizzle the inner thighs. Exhale, roll the left shoulder open. We'll call that three. Daddy breathing. Four. This is a really challenging posture. It's, it's hard to so just keep breathing. Choose your drifty. You might look down, four and a half. You might look down, you might look to the side or you might look up to the fingertips. And five, look down. Inhale, lift up, spread out the arms, square the feet. Exhale, come through, step through. Namaste, Kihi. Well done. Okay, we've got a vinyasa to the final three. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, fold forwards. So you might come down to seated to do your vinyasa. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, legs back and lower it. Squeeze the elbows in. Inhale to lift. Back bend of choice. Exhale to dog. Look forward up onto the toes. Inhale, step, jog or jump through to seated. And we have our friend Bara Kanasana. So no lotus, half lotus or full lotus. And stay with no lotus. Cross the arms behind the back. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, begin to fold forwards. One, begin to slow things down. Two, remember your Pinocchio Dristi. Three, keeping hold of Mula Bandha, Mudiana Bandha. Four, this helps to protect your lower back. Relax the back of the neck. Five, wherever you are, just relax the head. You might already have reached where feels best. Six, 
Remember, no pressure in the knees. Stretch the legs out if that's happening. Seven. Give yourself over to those waves of breath. Eight. Nine. Ten. Inhale, lift up. Exhale to Padmasana. Hands in Jhana Mudra. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, drop the chin. One. Two. Make the chest a big vessel for breath. Three. Soft gaze down the tip of the nose. Four. Remember the butterfly wing pressure. Five. Six. This is here where we integrate the practice. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. So we're ready for the final swing in the tail. Inhale, lift the head. Exhale, hands to the sides. Remember Uttuttihi, remember your options. Inhale, exhale, lifting. One. So look towards the tip of the nose. Two. You might be able to lift away from the floor. Three. You might be able to lift the knees higher. Four. You might be able to lift the feet. Oh no. Five. Bring full lotus. You might be able to lift everything. Six. This is a beginner's class. Stay strong. Seven. Keep lifting. If you go down, come back up. Eight. You need to squeeze and lift. Nine. And ten. Well done. Ease out the wrists. Find the comfort. The sukam through the wrist. Good. Got a final vinyasa to freedom. You can do this seated, kneeling. All fours are standing. I'm going to stay seated. Inhale to lift. Exhale to fall. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, legs back and lowering. Inhale to lift. Exhale to dog. Look forward. Inhale, step, jog or jump through. We straighten out the legs, exhale. From here, we can scoot down and come to our final rest position of choice. Traditionally, Shavasana, if you need to come to a different position or support your position, that's fine. As you arrive, look the ankles, big inhale. Exhale out through the mouth. And again, big inhale. Exhale. Last one, make it a good one. Big inhale. Exhale. Letting go of Banda, Dristi, Ujjayi, and the count. Align the body and mind to drift towards stillness, to absorb the prana that you've created in the session. Being aware of any changes in body mind or breath. If you wish to stay longer, please do. Otherwise, begin to deepen the breath. When you move most to fingers and toes, you move the head slowly from side to side. And then inhale to take a full body stretch and exhale. From here, bend at the knees, bend at the elbows, gather the knees in, have a rock until you can roll to one side. Pause there for a moment of gratitude, a moment of stillness. And then carefully leave yourself up to comfortable seated as we close our practice. Bring the hands to Anjali Mudra. Gently bow the head as we give thanks for our health and our practice. And inhale to lift the prayer hands up. 
Exhale to center. Namaste. So well done for making it to day eight. I hope you enjoyed the session. If you did, press the like button, subscribe to the channel. I hope to see you for day nine. Have a great day.